all right welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be watching game of thrones season four episode one episode one actually i will be right back okay i missed a couple of uploads this week just because i've been feeling super sick and i haven't really been able to record anything so you know i don't want to like record something if i'm just gonna be like sneezing the entire time and don't really feel that great either so i haven't really, so i've been a little i'm a little bit behind on some of my uploads so i would like to apologize for that but i feel like i still feel a little bit sick but i feel good enough to where i can record so you, know, you can probably tell by my voice i'm not like sounding all the way yet I'm not really sounding 100 percent yet but i feel good enough to record so we're gonna be banging these videos out okay so in my notes i have it so we found out the dude who's been torturing theon his name's ramsey and he works with lord bolton which okay that makes sense because when theon first turned on uh rob lord bolton was the one who's like hey i can have my boys go find him and we can do whatever with and so that does make sense they killed the they killed all the <clears throat> they killed all the ironborn theon was with took him in now they're just torturing him so like okay i did kind of think ramsey was working with rob like no i thought he was more connected to rob than he actually was it's just he's connected to lord bolton so and then they said his last name was ramsey snow which i was like wait is he related to john but then some of you guys commented that like no snow is just a common last name for people in the north who are bastards so okay that makes sense so thank you for clearing that up okay and then ramsey sent theon's fucking dick back to his dad and his sister and his dad was basically like oh gg he's chalked all right whatever and his sister's like no fuck that we're gonna go get him so she's taking all her best men to go get theon so that's respect to yara love to see it so john made it back to the night's watch base with sam and all of them and he had to kind of uh it kind of sucks with him and yigret because you could tell like they really love each other but yigret thinks john turned on him so now she's believing everything their work said and it's like it's not like that john just he freaked out he didn't know what to do he was like oh, shit they're all gonna try and kill me i just gotta get the fuck out of here so i i think him and yigret technically broke up but i hope they didn't you know i hope there's like i hope they meet again they talk about it they talk through it and they're lovers again so hopefully that can still be repaired i don't think it's been too much damage and now lord bolton is warden of the north because tywin named him that so yeah, they've been working together for some time now. So fuck Lord Bolton. He's a fucking he's a bitch. He's the biggest snake I've probably seen in this show so far. It's just like, dude, like what was Lord Bolton's motive that to do what he did to Rob? Like just because Rob didn't listen to him, you know, didn't take his advice. Is that why he's is that why he's salty? You know, is he just greedy and he wanted the North for himself? I fuck him dude like walder frey like walder frey's still a bitch but rob did cross walder frey so like i kind of get it but like he's still a bitch for that so i don't know so anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you want to watch the pulling three action that'll be available on patreon as well early access to the next two episodes of game of thrones will also be on patreon so let's watch this episode Reigns of Casimir playing. Dude, I'm I'm over this. I don't want to see anything more of this goddamn scene. Oh, okay, no, it's just Tywin. Okay, he's like forging a new sword. Bro, this is a double bladed fucking sword. Ooh, Jamie looks really good now. Mm. He's been back at King's Landing for looks some time. Forged. Okay, so the, the sword was for him. Okay. That's what I figured, but I kind of thought that, but he only has one hand. How to use both hands? They'll never be as good. Because I'm better than everyone else, I suppose, just that. <laughs> you can't serve the King's Guard with one hand. You to break another sacred vow. Yeah, because you can't. You to attend the royal wedding instead. All right. Very well. 
My lords, these fine men from the city watch will escort you to your quarters in the Red Keep. Okay, so... Oh, he went to the brothel. Oberyn, don't. The rains weep o'er his hall, and not a soul. Boys, you know, tell us to shut the fuck up. I tell you a secret. You ain't shit. Oh. I'm afraid so many things in the room. <sighs> Okay. Well, what are you, his hired killer? That's right, that way I. Mm -hmm. Now I'm a knight. Don't dis How did that come to pass? Don't disrespect Braun. Actually, they butchered those children. Wow. My nephew and niece <sighs> carved them up and wrapped them in Lannister cloaks. So he's here to get his With his great sword. I wasn't there. I don't know what. If the mountain killed my sister, your father gave the order. So he's here to kill just every. Just kill everyone. <laughs> Tell him the Lannisters are the only ones who pay their debts. Oh yeah. Okay, he's definitely here to kill. You know, if he gets if he gets one kill, if he gets one kill, except Tyrion, anyone but Tyrion, I he will be like top three favorite character immediately. Oh my God, dragons have grown so much. Damn, these things are getting fucking big. <laughs> Bro, they made that look so small in there. Gotta share. It's like when Nala snaps at me. Yeah, I don't think they'd ever kill her though. Never. They're just kind of wild. You know, they're just like really fucking wild kids. God damn, this is such a big ass army. How long have they been at it? Since midnight, Your Grace. Oh my. So Worm is stronger than he looks. Oh my god. The honor of riding by your side on the road to Marine. That honor so goes to Sir Literally George. just who can hold their sword out <laughs> here longest. The last man holding his sword can find a new queen to fight for. Yeah. Who is this guy? Hey, what? Okay, okay, okay. I actually did read a couple comments. The guys just did say Denario. I think it's pronounced Denario. But the guy who played Francis in Deadpool, he does get recasted. But I guess he already got recasted. I thought it would happen a little bit later. But okay. Pretty sure that's still the same character, just recasted. I can't let you starve. <sighs> I swore to protect you. Shay, don't get jealous. It's it's all it's all part of a play. It's playing a game, that's it. Staring at the canopy. Thinking about how they died. <sighs> I could get to the essence of my same. How they sewed his battle's head into his body. Yeah. I I remember so that. They say they cut her throat to the bone and threw her body in. Ooh. I admired her. She wanted to have me executed, but I admired her. <laughs> I remember that. Your mother would want you to carry on. You know it's true. She would. You know. Dude, it must be so hard. Dude, Sansa's literally lost everyone. Like, she lost Ned and Joffrey just rubbed that in her face. She lost Arya, and she just lost Rob and her mom. Dude, uh, and, like, no, like, she literally has no one. No more family. And the people, like, like, Joffrey are just gonna rub all that shit in her face. So it's like, dude, she, she must, she has to be, like, the most miserable person. My father murdered her family. Mm -hmm. Oberyn Martell wants to murder everyone whose last name is Lannister. Yep. It's not an answer. Of course I don't love her. You tried to ship me away. Shit. You want me to stay? Of course. Say it. Oh, well, he wants her to stay, but he doesn't want her to get killed because of it. 
Oh no, this bitch. No. Nah, okay, now she's on to it. Uh, Hook would be more practical. Yeah, exactly, Captain Hook. With you. So, okay, so is that why Jamie didn't want to go to Castle Rock? Something's changed. Everything's changed. Yeah, you've been you've been gone a lot for a while. I murdered people so I could be here with you. It took too long. I. Damn, that's kind of harsh. I'm saying you took too long. I'm breaking up with you. Oh, Come wait. In. No, is she gonna rat? Please, please. You told me to come at once if there was anything Fuck. important. R.I.P. Shay. That's all I'm gonna say. R.I.P. Shay. Bro, why? This guy's facial expression is just at every every single fucking moment in the show. It's literally his eyes are just wide open at all times. Your pretty crow is at a thousand men on this thing there. Yeah, well, he's a liar. He is. I don't think he was lying about that. If that boy's still walking, it's because you let him go. Yep. Yep, she de you know, she definitely didn't kill him on purpose. Who is this? I fucking hate that. <laughs> okay, then. Okay. The fuck are the hell? Lost your walk. Yeah. And that baby crow you had with you. So they've been sp they've been spying on us. They know that. Too scrawny. Not like those crows at Castle Black. Think of them stuck in their lodges. Their faces with right, I feel like they're cooking something over by this fire. Not cooking, but they're cutting something by this fire, and they're gonna reveal it. And I'm gonna be like, "Oh my god!" But just one time before you die, you really ought to try. Crow. No, who is it? Who is it? No, it's definitely not John. But who could? It, who could that have been? I was jealous of Rome my whole life. Oh. He just found out. The way my father looked at him, I wanted that. We all did. And girls, God, the girls loved him. Dude, he, dude, he's literally Jack Harlow. Yeah, you could never hate him. He's literally Jack Harlow. He's wanted to hang me for a while. Now's his chance. No one's going to hang you. You've done nothing wrong. Yeah, fuck no. I've done plenty. Of so you admit you murdered Corin Harvan? <clears throat> I had to. I had to. I lay with a wildling girl. You admit to breaking your vows, then? I do. The law is the law? Dude, we're not killing John. We beheaded every ranger who lay with a girl. We have no rangers. The war would be manned by headless Exactly. Men. There's a difference. The signal for the attack will be a bonfire. Mance said it would be the greatest fire the North has ever seen. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. All the truth. Pretty sure John didn't lie at all right there. Everything that I can remember that he mentioned that like I did recognize that he said was true. So there could have been something that he could have said that I didn't recognize, but it could have been a lie. But I'm pretty sure he didn't lie at, at all right there. Acting commander here, Mr. Damon. Yes, you are. And I don't trust the bastard. You should. I grew up in King's Landing. <laughs> I read that on the screen before he said it. <laughs> that's, hey, that hey, that's the best way to learn. You're a queen, not an ox. My fifty-first name day. Mm -hmm. Okay. My word, my lady. Oh God, what the fuck are you wearing? He plunged his sword through Renly's heart and disappeared. It's coming for you now. I meant no offense. And you've given none. At least she's back with Marge. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a horrible statue. All the king. They know I saved the city. They know I won the war. The war's not <laughs> your grave. I was rather busy. Busy getting cut. Dude, Jamie's gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> Knight with one hand. How can you protect me? With what are you saying? He's washed. <laughs> yeah, it makes it, yeah, it makes it more competitive. What are you saying? He's too old now to accomplish anything more. Hell no. 
Kind of is washed, but he's still really fucking good, probably. Poppy's gold. No tea from this one. Beautiful, but poisonous. I like the other actor better. You know, this guy just... This guy feels like an entirely new character. I, I know he's not. He just got recasted, but, like, it just feels weird now. Ooh, that's that's a horrible sign. How many miles are there between here and Marine? One hundred and sixty-three. It's one hundred and sixty-three dead bodies. I will see each and every one of their faces. Mm -hmm. Wow. Remove her collar before you bury her. Wow. Yeah, Khaleesi's wants to see their face so she know who she's fighting for. Makes it more personal for her. And Sansa Stark is now Sansa Lannister. It's a bit of complication. Complication does not release you from a vow. What do you want me to do? Kept up my sister-in-law and, and take her where? Where will she be safer than here? Yeah. Maybe you're a Lannister too. You've got the hair for it, not the looks. Mmm. Jamie's kind of flirting. But I mean, like, yeah, like, what's he supposed to do? What the fuck? What's he supposed to really do now with her? Like, there's no one to bring her back to. So, I guess just protect her while she lives here. Wait, I feel like I should know who this guy is. He looks really, he looks really familiar. Don't you know me? No. Oh. Eh. I may be a fool. A living fool, thanks to you. Uh, Anyone would have done that. You gave me my life. Mm -hmm. But this. I think, wait, oh, this. is this the fool who was like drinking hella wine and Joffrey's like waterboarding him with wine or something? And like the second season, I think, I think that's this guy. Moment in the sun before it disappears from the world. Okay, very sincere. Okay, I don't know if that's the right guy that I'm thinking of, but it's the only guy that comes to mind, if I'm being honest. And what the fuck happened here? The small one. His name is Pulliver. He captured us and took us to Harry. Right, he needs to die. He killed Lommy. Yep. What the fuck? <laughs> he was my friend. Yeah. Pulliver stole my sword and put it right through his neck. Yep, I, the guy who was like, oh, my leg hurts. And he just. Oh, you mother. Get back. My brother gave me that sword. No, 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 back no, 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 no. You can't just run up on them like this. Hate your friend. We're not going in there. Fuck. So. Please. She's a good girl. Shut your mouth and pour us more ale. And we may not take it with us when we're done with her. They're going to do something about that. He's like, what? oh, he recognizes Ari. Yep. No, you don't. What are you doing? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm not going to King's Land. Yeah, fuck all that. Think of the King's colors. No one's standing in his way now, which means no one's standing in ours. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck Joffrey. Wait, you just cro wait, is that too far? Bring me one of those chickens. You got money to pay for it. You paid for it. <laughs> no. All right, now we're fighting. Trade ya. One of our little chickens for one of yours. No. <laughs> Take this drink. Bitch ass. You don't seem to understand the situation. Bro, I'm killing all of you. You lived your life for the king. You're gonna die for some chickens. <laughs> You're gonna die for some chickens. <laughs> yeah, it's not me. No, go. Oh. No, the how? No, 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 no. Aria, Aria. Arya, do something. Arya, do something. Arya, do something. 
You're not. No. Hound is not taking an L. Cause. She... Oh my god, are ya? Are ya? I mean, he's probably got it, but like... God damn, dude, the hound's a fucking tank. Are ya? <laughs> Uh. No, kill him personally. You have to be the one to kill him. Something wrong with you. Yeah, fuck you. What, what, what do you mean? Can you walk? <laughs> I got to carry Doing you. Doing exactly what he did. Maybe I'll pick my team. <sighs> yep, he realized. Dude, she really, she literally repeated exactly what he said. She has a good memory. Hey, she got her horse. Dude, Arya's grown up. Love to see it. Love to see the character development from Arya. Well, that was season four, episode one. All right, so that was Game of Thrones season four, episode one in the books. Another episode in the books. We got introduced to a couple more characters. So we got introduced to a prince today. Um, didn't exactly, don't exactly remember how to pronounce his name right. I'll, I'll learn it within the next couple episodes, how to pronounce it exactly right. But I feel like I didn't really talk too much throughout this episode, just because I, like I said in the, in the intro, I'm a little bit sick, you know, so the energy, not, not too high. It normally is not that high anyway, but don't want to be like sneezing mid sentence. So, okay. So Jamie refuses to go to Castle Rock because Tywin try, tried to send him there. And he's like, look, I'll be breaking an oath as a King's guard to go there. So no. And also I feel like he just doesn't want to leave Cersei because it's been so long since he's seen her. And we found, yeah, later in the episode, he was like, uh, I'm not, le I'm not going there because I want to be with you. So, but I kind of feel like Jamie has feelings for big b low-key now maybe not like huge feelings but he's like you know what i kind of like her kind of like this one you know she reminds me of my family and that's exactly who i want to fuck so <laughs> okay and that lady spying for cersei kind of caught shay and Ty Tyrion in the same room and like caught shay leaving the room so now she's like okay maybe something's going on here and she came to cersei with like Hey, you told me to tell you if I see anything important, and I'm pretty sure that's what she told her, unless it's something completely different. Don't see how she could tell her anything different, because I don't know the show could do that to us, though. But I'm assuming it's about Shay and Tyrion, so... So, Cersei's about to have Shay off, because she just found out about their secret love. So, I have his name written down. I'm pretty sure it's O'Brien. I, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly right, but he wants all the Lannisters fucking dead. Okay. Like his story kind of sad. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure it was his sister who married Reagan Targaryen. And, you know, that didn't really end too well. And then so the mountain ended up killing his niece, his niece and nephews. And he said the, so if the mountain did kill him, that was orders by Tywin Lannister to do that. So he wants to fucking kill all of them. All the Lannisters. That's probably why when he was in the brothel, he went into the other room. He was like, you know what? These two guys are Lannisters. Fuck them. I already have beef with them. I don't even know. them. Just because they're Lannisters, I have beef with them. And I was like, kind of like, kind of curious. Like, okay, why is he so aggressive? Like just right away. But um, that story explains exactly why. So please, please. Can you, can you please please do everyone and everyone of all the realms a favor and just kill joffrey for me like please 
like pl- as soon as possible, please. That would be nice. That would be really damn nice if you could just off Joffrey. Okay. Now, if you could get Cersei, in- if you can only get like someone like Cersei, you know, not like I don't, I don't hate Cersei. She's kind of a menace, but not as big of a menace as Joffrey. Joffrey's a menace, dude. He needs to be. He needs to go. So, but if you can, like, okay, honestly, if any of the Lannisters besides Ty- uh, Tyrion died, I, I'm not going to be that hurt, if I'm being honest. Like, I do like Tywin a lot, but if he died, I, it's not like a, it's not like Rob, you know? I'm not going to be like, oh, shit. I'm going to be like, okay, okay. Oh, uh, that's, that sucks, R.I.P. You know, like, like, if Cersei dies, I'm just going to be like, ah, uh, like, that, that stuff, like, uh, anyway, next. No, let's move on. You know, if uh, if Tywin died, I wouldn't I wouldn't be that upset if Tywin died. But I just really like I really enjoy his character and just how smart he is and how he's just multiple steps ahead of everyone at every get fucking point and how he just bitches Joffrey around. You know, that's that's nice. He doesn't take shit from anyone. And that's nice. But if he if he has to go, I I get it. You know, it's not the worst loss. It's more of like, oh, I'll miss him, but it's like, mm. like if Tyrion died, I would be pretty hurt. Tyrion for me is like a top three character, you know, out of everyone who's still alive, I guess I would go Tyrion, <sighs> dude, John, Tyrion and John, and <sighs> everyone else is like a side character too. Probably Arya too, honestly. I really like Arya. So like no particular order in the, that top three but i i don't want any of them to die i want them all to make it to the very end you know in this marathon of game of thrones so okay and then the hound also did mention that his plan is to sell Arya back to her aunt you know so he can get paid and then he can go do whatever the fuck so i guess that that's like their end goal or whatever and john did tell the night's watch about mance's plan now it's like okay when john was explaining mance's plan I felt like, okay, I, everything John was saying, I was like, oh, okay, I remember them saying that, I remember them saying that, I remember them saying that, but I didn't really remember everything John said, you know, like, I couldn't think of a time where that was mentioned, you know, it's just one thing that went over my head, you know, because they had this conversation a while ago, but, you know, so everything that I can vividly remember them saying in prior episodes that John said to the Night's Watch, I was like, okay, yeah, no, that's all true. But there was a couple things that I don't remember exactly, and I so I don't know if th- those were lies or not. I don't think they were. I think he told the entire truth, but it's just something to point out. So yeah, that was Game of Thrones season four, episode one. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video, and thanks for watching.